a blessed and pleasant Sunday afternoon, mums and dads, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minute brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Graffi Muki and I are excited that you can be with us this wonderful afternoon. Have we had a wonderful Sunday? Yes, we have had a wonderful Sunday, right? It's been a wonderful Sunday. It's been a somewhat busy Sunday. But guess what? We love it when we can be busy for God. Yes, we do. Now, today has been a beautiful day because we have been looking at the fact all day in our adult services, we've been looking at the fact that God provides. Mm -hmm. Today we will be looking at the theme of God provides and we'll be looking at John chapter 6 verse 1 through to 15, which is all about the multiple John chapter 6 verse 6 to 15. Ah, that's it. The loaves and the fishes, the feeding of the five thousand. I'm making mistakes. It John 6, 1 to 15. That's it. I got it correct. John 6, 1 to 15. And it's all about the multiplication of the loaves and fishes, a boy being in the right place at the right time. And of course, people trusting in Jesus and Jesus trusting in God. But we're going to look at all of that right after we have our first song. Our first song for today is one that I learned as a child when I used to be enrolled in the Roman Catholic school. And guess what? I still love it and we sing it in the Anglican church still. This one is entitled, Great Things Happen When God Mixes With Us. It's originally done by Carrie Landon, but we got it off um, Dude Sousa Stella's YouTube channel. So we're linking them down below. But for now, we want you to sit back and enjoy, enjoy this song. This one entitled, Great Things Happen When God Mixes With Us. Sing with me. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Great and beautiful, wonderful things. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Some find life, some find peace, some people even find joy. Some see things as they never could before And some people find that they can now begin to trust Great things happen when God mixes with us Great things happen when God mixes with us Great and beautiful, wonderful things Great things happen when God mixes with us some find help, some find hope, some people even find joy. Some see themselves as they never could before, and some people find that they can now begin to live. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Great and beautiful, wonderful things Great things happen when God mixes with us Great things happen when God mixes with us What a wonderful song and what lovely images there. That one entitled, Great Things Happen When God Mixes With Us from Carrie Landry. And that is the truth. Today, we are focusing on the fact that God provides. And you know what? God provides so well, Graffy Muki, boys and girls at home. God provides so well that a little is a lot when God is in it. Hallelujah and amen. Now, let's listen to our Bible reading for today. And this one comes from the Gospel according to John chapter 6, verse 1 through to 15. And today, this one will be done for us by CCTN TV, which is now a part of the Holy Family Catholic Church in Orlando, Florida. And of course, we are putting their links in the description below. So let's listen to today's Gospel, John 6, 1 to 15. 15. Let's have a listen. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, 
Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to the disciples, Gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What a powerful Bible reading there from John chapter 6, verse 1 through to 15. The feeding of the five thousands with the five loaves and the two fishes. And that's what we'll be talking about today, boys and girls. We'll be talking about the fact that God provides. And he provides because even when there's a little, if God is in it, it is a lot indeed. But before we get into that, we want to hear our second song for today. And our second song for today is all about loaves and fishes and it is from second wind kids mm -hmm. that's the name of the children singing it and this one we got it from jacqueline hegarty and we are going to link them of course in the description down below we pray blessings upon all the ministries who provide the work that we well the programs the videos that we use in our program we just pray god's blessing on them and we give god thanks for their ministry as well but let's listen to this one loaves and fishes from second wind kids here we go
what a wonderful one they're entitled loaves and fishes and that's all it took it took loaves and fishes and this little boy in the crowd i am sure he must have had this like the song said prepared for him by his mommy or his grandmommy and he would have taken it with him to go and listen to jesus preach now there were lots of people there and the reading from john chapter 6 verse 1 truth to 15 tells us that there were lots of people there and the people were just so taken by what Jesus was saying that they didn't want to leave a night was coming and of course we heard last week about compassion and moved with compassion the disciples said to Jesus send them home that they could go and eat that we could rest Jesus said no you feed them and truthfully graphic muki to feed people costs money I want you to know that yeah to feed people costs money and Jesus said feed them and the disciples said even if we have eight months worth of money, it will never be enough to feed all these people. And then that's when they found out about the little boy and his loaves and fishes. And that day when Jesus prayed and those loaves and those fish multiplied, you know what? It was a little, but it became a lot because God was in the midst of it. And some theologians, some people who practice and study religion, they think, some believe that maybe it wasn't a miracle that the bread magically multiplied, but that when one person saw that the boy was willing to give all he had, that others began to give and share as well. Some theologians believe that. Some theologians believe that it was the miracle from God that multiplied the bread and the fish that day, and that when the bread and the fish, after Jesus gave thanks for it, God took what was there what was on hand and used it to provide for the needs. And the truth is, boys and girls, that God will always provide for our needs. Mm -hmm. Big or small, he will provide for our needs. Now, we have to remember that needs and wants are two different things. Sometimes we want things that we don't need. And sometimes we need things that we don't always want. But we're going to talk about that a little bit after this. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to listen to our Bible story. And this one is called Jesus Feeds the Poor, the Feeding of the 5,000. And this is Bible story for kids, the miracle of Jesus Christ. And this one comes from Jitanjali Kids rhymes and stories and we want to thank them so much we're going to link them in the description below that you could click on their site and follow them as well so let's listen to today's bible story the feeding of the five thousand jesus feeds the poor enjoy It is good to be back. I can't wait to meet the Master. Yes, I'm sure Jesus will be very happy to see us. He will be even more happy when we tell him where we have been and what we have done. The disciples all headed to where Jesus was preaching. They were very eager to talk to him. There he is. Come, let's go to him. There is so much to tell him. Wait, it won't be possible to talk to the master here. There are so many people around him. Then what should we do? In the meanwhile, Jesus had spotted his disciples and came forward to meet them. He embraced them all and said, You are all back. I have just received news that John the Baptist has been beheaded, which has saddened me a lot. But I am also happy to see you all again. Oh, Master, we can't express how happy we are to see you, and we have so much to tell you. Jesus looked around at all the people gathered and said, I don't think it will be possible to talk here with so many people around. There is an isolated place a little ahead. Let us make our way there so that we shall not be disturbed. I'm sure you must all be tired also and wanting to rest also.
However, when the people saw Jesus leaving with the disciples, they also joined them, and some even went ahead to the place Jesus was going to with his disciples. Many of them had brought their ailing family and friends, and had seen how Jesus had cured them, and they just wanted to follow him. Therefore, when Jesus arrived there, the place was already crowded. Look at these people. Can't they leave us alone for some time? Why do they keep following you, Master? Do not be angry with them, but feel pity in your hearts for them. These people are lost. They need someone to guide them. Don't worry, we shall talk later. Jesus walked towards the crowd, sat down on a rock, and began to once again teach them. After some time, his disciple came up to him and whispered in his ear, My Lord, it is getting late, and the nearest town is quite far away. At least now send these people away so that they can go and find something to eat in some nearby village. Jesus looked at the disciple for a long moment and then said to him, Would it not be possible for us to give them all something to eat? What are you saying, Master? Have you any idea what it would cost to feed this large crowd? No. You tell me. The disciple became a bit uncertain as Jesus kept looking at him calmly. Er, well, Master, I think that to feed this whole crowd, it would cost about as much as a man's wages for eight months. Hmm. Is there no one here who has any food? Peter's brother, Andrew, was listening to the conversation Jesus was having with his other disciple, and he then spoke up. I did see a young lad over there with five small loaves of barley and two tiny fish. And how many people will that feed? It will be hardly enough for the young lad himself. Jesus did not reply, but kept looking at the crowd very calmly. I see that after being away from me for so long, your faith in me has wavered. Oh no, Master, please do not say that. It is just that... Don't worry. It is now time again for you all to witness the glory of God. So saying, Jesus started to walk slowly towards the crowd, with his disciples following behind. When they reached the spot where the crowd was gathered, the disciple once again went up to Jesus and whispered in his ear, Master, please do not mistake me, but do you see the crowd? There must be at least 5,000 people. Jesus turned to him and once again smiled at him calmly. Do not ever doubt the glory of God. Now, all of you, do my work. Go and ask the crowd to be seated on the grass, and ask the young boy with the barley loaves and fish to come up to me. The disciples did as Jesus asked them, and one of them went up to the young boy and told him that Jesus wanted to see him. Here, my lord, is the boy who has the loaves and fish. Come here, my boy and show me what you have. The young boy became very nervous when Jesus called him and stood there hesitantly. Don't be afraid, my child. I just want to see what you have to eat. The boy walked up slowly to Jesus, showing him the two small fish and five loaves of barley. Ah, those look good. Come, give them to me, and we shall all share your meal. What is the master doing? That meal is hardly sufficient for one person. How is everyone going to share it? Didn't Jesus just tell you not to doubt the glory of God? Don't you know him well enough by now not to ever doubt him? 
Now wait and see what he does. Jesus took the loaves and the fish from the little boy and started praying. When he finished, he broke the loaves into small pieces and then asked his disciples to give the pieces to the people. After the loaves, he did the same with the fish. To everyone's amazement, there was enough bread and fish for all the people gathered there. The disciple who had doubted what Jesus was doing fell at his feet. My Lord, forgive me. Never will I ever doubt you again. Jesus bent down and placed his hands on the disciple's shoulders and then embraced him. Come now, let us also have the bread and fish. After everyone had eaten their fill, Jesus asked the disciples to gather up the leftovers. Master, there are 12 whole baskets of fish and loaves left over. The people who had eaten now became aware of what Jesus had done. They began chanting that he was the prophet who had come to the world to save them. Jesus realized that they would soon demand that he be made king, which he did not want. Thus, as soon as he could, he quietly withdrew and went away to the mountains by himself. And there we had that wonderful story from Bible Tales for Kids. And of course, we want to thank the people from Jitanjali Kids Rhymes and Stories and you can check them out on their YouTube channel at the link that we have posted below. And you heard it there. Yes, what it took in order for them to see that miracle was for them to have faith that God provides. God provides. He does. He takes a little and once a little is a lot when God is in it. And we have to remember that, boys and girls. We have to remember that because not just with material things, but also with spiritual things. If you have a little bit of faith, God can multiply that into big things. If you have a little bit of courage, God can cause you to do great things for the glory of his kingdom. And as small as we are, yeah, I'm barely five feet. As small as we are, God can take something that's little like me and you, boys and girls, and he can do big things with it for the glory of his kingdom. And that's the beautiful thing. A little is a lot once God is in it. And you know what? We have to remember to keep God in all things at all times. Because, of course, we want the little that we are able to do to be a lot because the blessings of God is upon it. But guess what? That story took about 10 minutes and so we are out of time for today. So what I will ask is, I will ask if we could say our prayer and then listen to our final song. Yes, God makes a lot out of a little. That's what we have to remember for today. And you know what? Because we trust in that, we don't have to worry. And he has done it time and time again and he is not going to stop doing it. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes to close off in prayer, can we? Let's pray. Good afternoon, God. God, the day we heard in your Bible, from your Bible, John chapter 6, verse 1 through to 15, how you multiplied the loaves and the fishes to feed 5,000 when there were only five loaves and two fishes. God, what we get from this story is that there was faith in Jesus that you would deliver. There was faith in the disciples that Jesus would deliver through you. There was faith in the people that Jesus was delivering because he was faithful to you. God, help us to always have faith in you. Help us to be faithful, to know that if you are in the midst of whatever it is we are doing, then that thing is as good as done. It is secure. God, help us to remember that we need to add you into all things. Help us to remember that we need your guidance, we need your presence, we need your love, and we need your miraculous, awesome, supernatural power to magnify and multiply the little that we have. God, little faith, little faith, small as a mustard seed, can move mountains. 
God little fit, cause the jar of meal and oil for the widow of Zarephath to never run dry. A little became a lot to feed three people for months. Yes, when it didn't rain. God, we know that if you are in the midst of us, that there is big and powerful, mighty things that can come out of it. And God, we want to be a part of that kind of miracle. We want to be a part of the multiplication of your graces and your glory to your people. We want to be the little God that you use to do big things for the glory of your kingdom. We want to be the little that you use to draw hearts to you, to magnify and multiply the presence of people who believe in you and who trust in you. God, use us according to your will. Thank you for always providing for us. Help us to remember that a lot is a little when you are in the midst of it. We lift our prayers to you, God, to the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Boys and girls, a little is a lot when God is in it because God provides for those who are faithful and believe and trust in him. And that's what we have to do. We have to continue believing and trusting in God, knowing that he will provide for us and that even if we only have a little, it's a lot if God is in the midst of it. We're going to close off today with one of my favorite songs that I just learned. It is called God Makes a Lot of Little and it is from Amazing Grace Refugee Home refuge home kids we want to thank omega fuller for allowing us the use of this one and this description of their channel is of course in our description all right we hope you had a wonderful time we did here on children's bible minutes we look forward to seeing you on monday at 2 30 when we looked at another fact that children in an anglican school should know mm -hmm. so for today please practice your social distancing wear your mask sanitize often do not forget god loves you and we do too. Until tomorrow evening, take care, God bless, and bye for now. <laughs>